Yesterday we crowned a winner at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show here on Fox. You might have seen Wasabi, the Pekingese, the 2021 Best in Show champion. Fox Sports Dog Show analyst Gail miller Beister and the champion join us this morning along with David Fitzpatrick who has accompanied Wasabi. Congratulations and thanks uh, to both of you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Gail, I'll start with you as we talk about Wasabi. What, what makes a champion? What stood out? Well, of course, all the dogs that ended up in the best in show ring were ex exquisite examples of their breed. But, you know, on that special night, it comes down to what the, the visceral feeling that the judge has. And Mrs. Uh, Pat Trotter, who judged best in show, is an icon in our in our sport and so I'm sure she thoroughly you know studied each breed and then made her decision and I think it was because of, Ma of I almost called him Malachi his <laughs> grandfather's name uh, Wasabi's uh, performance he was owning the ring going around he was very <laughs> confident and uh, you know the ring actually looked like a miniature Madison Square Garden because Fox Sports put it together and it looked fabulous. But uh, I think he just took over the ring and really owned it. He, he is amazing, David, I have to say. What, what are your thoughts uh, as you've been uh, processing this overnight? Uh, obviously, you had to believe in Wasabi, but he really turned it on when the lights came on. He did. He did. You know, he really showed a lot of charisma. He showed his, you know, Pekingese is like a little lion dog. And he was, you know, just held his ground in the ring like a little lion. He just stood up, you know, and made all, you know, he, he thought he was 10 feet tall in that ring. He didn't know he was the smallest dog in there. And he just, he just really did the best he could. And, and luckily we had a, an icon of our sport judging that knew, knew all the breed standards and, you know, liked him the best on the night. So. I guess it gets tougher than ever, Gail, because we did introduce four new breeds again uh, to the show. It just gets bigger and bigger. We, we know dogs just come in all shapes and sizes. It's got to make it's got to make the process more fun, but maybe making the judging more difficult. Well, yes, that's right. We had four new breeds judging this year, and that's because they became AKC recognized in 2020, which makes them eligible to enter Westminster. But you know, there are nearly 400 breeds worldwide and only 209 in the U.S., and that's based on popularity. First of all, you have to have a number of that breed in the U.S., and as some of these new breeds, like the Beaver Terrier, uh, gains popularity, then uh, they were able to establish a parent club, the National, the Beaver Terrier Club of America, for example, which then is in place to protect and preserve the breed and, and help the breed uh, grow and educate people about it. And so uh, having those new breeds, yes, it adds to the number of dogs that are competing, but it's really, each dog is so unique in its history and in what it was originally bred to do that it's really like a little history lesson every time we add a breed. Absolutely. I, I got to get back real quick, David, to Wasabi. What is what is the hair care maintenance like for Wasabi to, to get him ready? Maybe not even just for the show, but just for his uh, day to day. Well, it's pretty intense. <laughs> you know, every day we I spend about an hour grooming Wasabi. And then before a show, even we even take longer at the show. It's it's nonstop brushing from morning till the show is over. But uh, it's worth it when you can have a dog that looks this great. Looks this great, and like and you he said, enjoys it. And, he and likes he, the attention, and he knows. Groomed. Oh yeah, who doesn't like some uh, grooming attention there for sure? Well, uh, once again, David and Wasabi, congratulations <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, to you for the for the big win, and Gail, congratulations to everyone associated with Westminster, uh, obviously for putting this on. Like I said, getting back after the pandemic, we appreciate the time. Thank you.